Well, I mean, we hope it's good. Um, we're going to go through BP, and if I have to change it, I change it. But he woke up and said he felt, you know, good today, and we'll see how he goes through BP, and we'll make a decision. Him in that lineup, what does it do for your offense as a whole? Well, I mean, he's a, he's a big home run threat. Um, he's an RBI guy, and it's huge in the middle of the order between, you know, some lefties, a, a switch hitter that really, you know, does damage against left-handers if they want to bring in a lefty to face, you know, some of our guys. Not bad having him at first base either. No, no. I mean, it's always it's always a treat to put his name in the lineup. Is it something where until he gets through a BP, until he gets through an entire game, you're still going to maybe have that in the back of your head a little yeah, bit? I mean, you're going to think about it. Um, you know, I think if we can get through BP and you get through a couple of bats, you know, the thought process is that he's going to be okay. Um, but we got to get through BP first. Sunday morning. Do you have an exact muscle? No. He, he no, it just. It is right below his shoulder, mid yeah, I mean, it just could have been a spasm. You know, we're not sure exactly what it is. I mean, I mean, I think we all woke up with some aches and pains some days, and the next day you feel a lot better. So it's hard to say exactly what it was. Kelly really hasn't done a lot of work at second um, this year. S Solo's done a little bit more, and that's kind of why we stuck with it. Solarte's had a little bit of a rough time at the plate lately. You were hoping that day off would help. Did you notice anything yesterday in his at-bats that lead you to believe he's going to get going? Yeah, I, I think he'll get going. I think it's just kind of what you go through as a, as a hitter. Uh, the West Coast hasn't been real kind to him. So he's probably glad we're going home after today. But, I mean, it's just you kind of go through it. He'll be fine. Do you have any hesitation of playing Jeter day game after night game? Now we're off tomorrow. Um, and we had Monday off, and he's been swinging the bat extremely well. So, you know, I thought it was best to leave him in. Um, you know, if we have to give him a day off sometime next week, we'll give him a day off. But... Uh, you know, I know it's kind of a short turnaround, but he says he feels good. Nice is it to see him contributing offensively the way he has on this West Coast swing? Well, I mean, he's he's had a tremendous West Coast uh, string, and um, hopefully it continues today, and uh, we'll get him an off day tomorrow, and he'll be ready to go Tuesday again. So, uh, after today, you have a stretch of games against your own division. I mean, I know they're all important games, but you, you think that'll, you know, just this period will, you know, an idea maybe where, where you stand and support yeah I mean you don't want to make too much of it, but it's obviously an important period when you're going to see the teams that we're going to see um, just a huge stretch against East Coast teams and you have a chance to make up ground and put distance between other teams and yourself um, so I think it's really important I mean when I look at our schedule it's, it's kind of weird we're done on the West Coast we're done with National League teams for the most part you got a few against Cincy so obviously we need to start playing some teams in our own division. It's kind of that way around baseball, isn't it? Like it's hard for nobody's really, very few teams really separated themselves. Yeah. Everyone's right around 500. Right? Well, I think there's a lot of parity in the game right now. Um, and I think, you know, that was the idea with some of the things that they've done with the collective bargaining agreement and the revenue sharing. I, everyone's extremely competitive and has a chance to win. Toronto, um, well, I mean, they they play, they've swung the bats extremely well. They play good defense, and they pitched well. I mean, um, and their bullpen seems to, you know, where they went through some difficult times, they've seen to find the order, and I don't know if Jansen kind of restored order to their bullpen, but they played extremely well, and they've been consistent. Joe, had you at all, they were kind of a big deal last winter. Coming into last season, they were having a lot of buzz. Had you, I don't know, forgotten about them a little bit? I mean, or no. I, I don't know. No, because you know, you knew how dangerous they were offensively. Um, and, you know, they went through some injuries last year, just like everybody else, and sometimes it's hard to overcome those. Um, 
they've had a pretty consistent rotation for the most part this year. They've had to make some changes. They've had some guys that have gotten off to great starts, but we knew that they were they were very talented. Joe, you, you've had your issues scoring runs. Does this team have enough offense to, to really contend and do what you want to do? Oh, I think so. I, I do. Um, but obviously, you know, we have to go out and show that, and we have to prove it, and guys have to hit. But I think the, I think the ability is definitely there. Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're a very good lineup. Um, whether you've seen the first time, the fifth time, um, they're extremely dangerous. So, yeah, I mean, I, I look forward to it. Um, you know, my thought is he's going to do fine. Um, I, I wouldn't think of, that he wouldn't, but I mean, obviously you're curious.